Wendy's. Haven't seen you in a while. Testing, testing. I am at Wendy's, in case that isn't obvious. I was going to get a spicy chicken sandwich to continue with the theme of spicy chicken sandwiches, but I need to start 2020 off in a less fat way. Uh, this, So I got a grilled chicken sandwich, which is number eight on the Wendy's menu. It looks okay. I mean, it's possible that this has as many calories as, uh, as a spicy chicken sandwich, but let's fucking see. That's not bad. I mean, everything's pretty fresh, but it's a grilled chicken sandwich, which means that it's always disappointing when you know that one option could have been a fried chicken sandwich. Damn it. Half-assed healthiness is the worst. It's got some type of honey mustard or something, tomato, lettuce or arugula or whatever this whatever this green stuff is it's okay I mean, if you like grilled chicken sandwiches you'll be happy but if you don't you won't and I guess it's, you know, I guess it's like reasonably sized sandwich. I'm in the dude's thing and I am about to go test drive an Infiniti G35 that I'm interested in picking up as a potential project car. Just ignore the fact that I'm eating french fries. They're offset by the fact that I got a grilled ch sandwich. That's not true. God damn it. I dropped a french fry in my cup holder. I really wish I would have gotten a grilled, a fried chicken sandwich. God damn it. Ugh. New year, new me. Woo. I almost threw my ketchup everywhere. You know, I don't want to like knock the accomplishments of science, but a great accomplishment would be if somebody could make a fried chicken sandwich that was healthy but also tasted like a fried chicken sandwich, right?